Now I will demonstrate on your Allure and Allure Plus how to change from your sewing foot to your embroidery foot, how to attach the embroidery arm, and about the embroidery features on the embroidery screen. First, we'll make sure that our machine is off. There's a little black button in the back that we will push and it will drop out our sewing foot. This is foot J, so it goes in the foot J slot. We also have to take off our ankle. Now you have a white screwdriver that you can use, but there's also an advanced driver set that is out of this world that I think every sewer needs. And it will slip onto the screw and make it a lot easier to loosen. Don't forget lefty loosey righty tighty. And I will loosen my ankle and take it off. Make sure you put your ankle in a place that you will remember where it is. My embroidery foot lives over here on the left side. It is Q. Again, I always say if you can read the letter, there it is. And that is the way that the foot goes on. I will hook it in from the inside. And as I tighten the screw, it will place it where it's supposed to. I will slide my sewing arm off. I will make sure my door on the inside is open. I will take my embroidery arm and I will butt it up against the arm of the machine and then I will gently slide it on until it snaps. Now when I turn the machine on, The baby lock screen comes up and I will touch the screen. The carriage of the embroidery unit will move so I will say OK. And it aligns the sewing embroidery arm where it's supposed to be. Now I'm ready to embroider. This is the embroidery screen. If you refer to your quick reference guide that comes with your machine, it's a wonderful guide to reference from. Not only does it show you how to thread it with pictures, and how to wind the bobbin. It shows you all of your sewing and embroidery stitches and all your different menus and where to find them. This is your embroidery menu and it correlates with the menus in your book. So these are your fonts. You have block, block with serifs, an outline block, a fancy block, a varsity block, and a children's block. To go back to the main menu, I will either hit the go back button, I will, I will hit embroidery. These are your frame shapes. You have 10 different ones. You can scroll to choose the one that you want. And then you have 12 different outlines to choose from. Again, to go back, I can hit the go back button until I'm back at the beginning, or I can hit the embroidery menu button, hit OK to delete what we were doing, and it goes back to the menu. This is E for your exclusive embroidery patterns. You have 40 patterns built into this. Again, we can scroll to the right and select the ones that we want. But if I want to get to 26 out of 40 faster, I will hit plus 10 twice. And now I'm at 26. We will go back to the menu. The butterfly is your other embroidery patterns. You have 66. And if you go to the end of the 66, you also have one letter monograms. This is if you have any memory cards that are pre-programmed with designs on them or if you have the palette software system with a readable, writable card. This is to take, take things out of memory so you had saved it in your pocket for later and now you're ready to take it out. With the Allure Plus, you have the USB flash drive. You plug it into the side, you allow a few seconds for it to read and then you're able to touch it. And then this is to move your arm back and out of the way.